What's happening lads and welcome back to a Foot Champions gameplay video yet yeah, again we obviously done this last week for the FIWC like Road to FIWC 1 out of 12 now basically this video I'm, I've obviously done the last 10 games of it and boy there are some some tough games in this don't get me wrong and then there was a few easy games as well but yeah I'll let you watch the video while I'll commentate over it obviously um, but basically what I just want to quickly say is thank you for all the support recently I was recently featured on my HD Gamers video again for my uh monthly pack shame it wasn't as good as i wanted it to be but regardless anyways appreciate that and i appreciate all the new subscribers welcome to the channel hopefully you do enjoy the content i don't regularly upload but i'm trying to implement it now i am trying my best for you i just need to find time and also next month is a qualification month but yeah, basically, let's just get straight into the video now, and yeah, let's just get straight into it. So then, lads, going into our first game, and as you can see, he has a pretty nice team with two red cards. Now, whenever I see a red card, I always assume either he's an elite tier player or a top 100 player based on that. But yeah, this guy, once I scored the first goal, he just wasn't sticking about. I mean, 45th minute, good finish by Dybal. I've, I've, uh, I have actually got rid of the team. Uh, for the BPL requirements this weekend, which you know, I'm not really looking forward to, I will be honest. It will just be filled with Butland, Smallin, Bailey, Walker, Shaw. I'll see the same defence once every three games, basically. And yeah, then we're going into this next game now. One in that game um, for the first game against Harry Clark. Five of the back team, and he was actually a really decent player. It was, it was hard to get past him because obviously five of the back parked the bus. But you've, sometimes you've got to ride your luck, and this is exactly what I've done with this free kick here. But, we yeah, have this free kick, so we got Dybala. I usually am quite good at free kicks, I usually do score on quite a lot. But this one, he wasn't really exactly on the line, so I thought, why not have a cheeky punt? His defender does that, I think it was Rio Fernand actually that done that. And Florenzi, of all people, scores. And I actually did um, change my tactics to 4-2-3-1. But then this this was a lovely goal to be fair to him. I didn't it didn't really anticipate the turn he would make because he he just didn't seem like one of those players that would make the turns. Like I'm not like this. I'm not saying this player was bad because he was really really good. As you can see, we just scored in the 79th minute and managed to see out the game. Like, but it's just these type of players I struggle against compared to like the pros and stuff like that. Like the pros, you can kind of figure out their game style a bit and you can learn how to defend it. With these guys, you just you go in clueless, you're going in blind basically, and it is a struggle from the first minute. It depends how they attack you. If they attack you differently to how pros do, it's kind of hard to anticipate it but yeah basically we're going into this next game now against v vcr dark with a full Serie A squad and when i looked at this i thought shit i'm gonna be in for a game here and to be fair he did give me a game this goal was because i was in a party at the time and I, for some reason this weekend i just couldn't, couldn't just couldn't concentrate while i was in the party he did bring on ronaldo as well for some reason when he had dybala and mertens on but mind you his cam wasn't that great but yeah, one to Ronaldo. Ronaldo, absolutely beautiful finish. 2 0 in the 45th minute. I thought, right, that's it. And then 85th minute comes along. Get a consolation goal with Lewandowski. I brought on my 93 Lewandowski that I packed in the rewards. And I know I said it was a shit rewards. It was in terms of like what I made, like because I didn't make any coins. But for a super sub, Lewandowski is perfect. And we actually do go and get a 90th minute equaliser. And this guy was pissing me off because all he was doing was time wasting throughout the whole of it. Brought over miles on, over miles to Lewandowski, great finish again, tried to see out the game, but this guy was good, he just knew what he was doing most of the time, I, I flapped in defending, I ain't gonna lie, I should have switched to Shaw there, what what was I doing, still controlling Manolas, and Ronaldo does bury it, changes his formation, and then we basically go to penalties, Lewandowski up first, I do love a good penalty shootout, by the way this is the only penalty shootout in the the video as you can see he scores his penalties and thankfully he's not one of those people that just do the, the stupid stutters so he just can't read where they're going like, I don't think even they know where they're going half the time like but yeah we get quite lucky there with Overmars with left foot I I always get confused because Overmars is five star weak foot so he's either right foot or left foot with him but I just want to quickly uh, talk about something so next month as most of you do know well this month anyway is the regional month I thought I actually went in with Valley but okay Next month is the regional month as well as this month. It is top five. I basically need to drop two 40s out of 40s to go. I know that's not going to be possible. So next month, everyone's going to be going it, going for it because it is top 10 in the in the world. No, in the region, sorry, should I say. And it is going to be tough, but I personally think, you know, you've got, those, you've got a bracket of five players that are going to be already eliminated. So that's likely IG Richie, Dragon, uh, Tim Lacker, 
uh, who else? Hashtag Harry. And I'm trying to think from the top of my head, I, but I'm not too sure. But then you've got the likes of other pros and competitive players that want to get there as well as me. And I think top 10, and we do win on penalties, by the way, but top 10, I think, is it doable? Of course it is doable, but the, you've just got to... I would say you need a minimum of 152 wins at least, maybe 153. So you need to drop <clears throat> two 39s, um, like 138 and maybe a 40. It, it just depends how your luck is and how other players, like, the requirements might... I'm not too sure, like might fumble, I'm not, I don't exactly know. But then the top 5 month comes again. And I think top 5 is actually more doable than the top 10. I don't know why, because people will try for the top five, uh, the top 10 month. But some people might not get there, and then they might not even be bothered for the top 5. I don't know, but personally for me, I am going to be sweating out for top 10. And I don't know whether I should bring the FIWC last 10 games to YouTube. Because the last 10 games, don't get me wrong lads, are so intense. The, like two or three of these games were the hardest games I've had in weekend league. For some reason, I get the hardest opponents at the end of the weekend league, and between the 20 and 30 wins mark. When I, the first 10 games, I usually get quite easy opponents, apart from one or two. Um, and then the next games, I use the between 10 and 20 wins. I usually either fall, slip up, or like, or it is a really really good player. But most of the time, I just slip up because that's. That's what I do sometimes. But you can see Burp spin there and then he tackles me. But then he actually does quit the game. And I did message him after the game saying respect to him and all that because of his team name. Obviously paying his respects to the, I can't say the name, but Chapkinese players. Um, I think their goalkeeper's walking out yet. Yeah, but I don't want to really bring it on to that because obviously it was a very, very sad event. Like, But yeah, you see we're making it 1-0. We're flying through these games. Sunday night, the best night to play your games. Trust me, lads. If you play them one nilers, two nilers, they just back out. I mean, this, this is basically going to be my schedule now, so I'm going to start uh, doing 10 games on a Friday, hopefully get 10 out of 10. Then on a Saturday, I'm going to do uh, 5 or 10, because I don't know what it is, I think it's a men mentally mental thing, but I seem to play the better players when I've got more wins. So basically, say on Friday you've got 10 wins, and if I went to into another game, then I'll play a really good player. Whether he's up to your standard, you don't know. You don't play those really, really bad players. It's, it's you know, it's 50-50 in the day. Like, loads of people are discussing whether it's to do skill rating, whether it's to do the same amount of wins, whether it's just searching at the same time, connection, this, that, the other. It could, it could be a mix of anything, really, to be honest with you. But we've got to just keep on guessing. We're going on to this next game, and as you can see, literally, that's, that's the defence and goalkeeper I'm going to come up against, as well as Butland as well. Um, but in the 6th minute we do start off strong again, Dybala finessing it into the corner and I'm actually going to get this team back with maybe addition like Hullet or something just to, to you know, because it is such a nice team to play with 88 Mertens, 87 Mertens, is there any difference? I wouldn't say so, no maybe 87 just to save coins but still, what Mertens can do like this gets a bit jammy, I ain't going to lie like, but what he can do like that is it's brilliant, it's brilliant and that's what you need in a team at the end of the day just someone who can just finish like that as well and yeah what I'm also planning on doing I know I've already said it like in previous videos but I'm also going to be doing the Gfinity Cups I have actually entered loads of Gfinity Cups it's just I've either decided not to record them I've tried to stream them not been very successful I ain't gonna lie but in time everything will be sorted I know that for a fact and once we get there you know, it'll just come custom and it'll be brilliant. You see this game, fourth minute, start off, get a little bit lucky, I guess, but kind of deserve, I guess, because, yeah, we, we would have scored. But this guy, you just literally see lunging with his players, 2-0, just like that. And then he decides to pause and quit the game. So I think we're going on to our final game now. After about, like, 5-6, I wouldn't even call them Rage, no, it's the second, this penultimate game. But I wouldn't even call them rage quits to be honest with you because they're not exactly raging I don't think. I think they're just quits just to save time because they've either got something to do, school work or college or university, whatever. You know, it's just whatever at the end of the day. Like, I, if I was in their shoes and I weren't exactly aiming for like a target exactly and just got 18 wins and just wanted to fly through them, I would do that as well. I actually would do that because there's nothing to really play for them. But for me personally, I, I know I'm a, a top 100 tier player now. I'm getting top 100 pretty much every every week now. It's just the rewards are just absolutely dire. From my point of view, right? I'm not trying to be ungrateful. It's just for what you get. 
you get 11 informs at the end of the day. Now I've seen people who've hit elite with 30, 30 wins and stuff like that getting better rewards than me. It's it's sickening to see it, even monthlies as well. But then we go into this last game and oh my god, this guy was good. He, you see by his red cards, he must have finished elite or top 100, I'm not too sure. But he was absolutely quality from the get-go. Started off, he did actually take the lead. It's a sort of attacking play where I was literally just burn out at the end of it. Because at the end of the weekend league, you do make mistakes. But you just don't want them to like creep into your game a bit. So you see, we just tackle him here. Give it away with Luke Shaw stupidly, stupidly when I should have just done a ball roll down the line. He passes it inside, driven pass. And that's something I would advise you lads to do as well. Don't actually triple tap it across the box because... I don't know how I did that skill either, you know, I, I still don't know how to do that skill, I tried to actually do a Berber spin, but i done it and scored, but as I was saying, yeah, don't triple tap it, just driven past it, and it does work, not all the time, but it works most of the time, I've actually implemented that into my game, and it has helped me a lot to score loads and loads of goals, so you can see here, Matthias getting really, really lucky to be fair, and then we square it back, didn't think Matthias would get there, he did, Walker decided not to commit, and we do in fact level it to make it 2-2. But this guy, he got a little bit lucky, he got his luck to be fair, getting the penalty, it was a penalty, it's just the way how he got through to win the penalty, if you get me, so basically, yeah, he's got a penalty with Marco Roy, he's going to hit it down the middle, he's a middle fag, yeah, I call him middle fags, but yeah, this guy, um, this guy is now subscribed to me as well, um, I forgot his name by the way, but yeah, he commented in one of my videos as well, so cheers for that if you're watching, and basically, he, he was a good player, just don't, like, he really, really was, and this in the 90th minute, how about this, to win the last game, running with Robert Lewandowski, driven pass across, and a tap in for Dybala, I was going absolutely mental when that happened, I couldn't believe it, and yeah, lads, we did actually finish 39 out of 40 which is some achievement and I, I wish I could have shown you the game I lost but there you go we did actually finish 16th in the world so bring you some good rewards in the week and we'll finish top 100 monthly as well as with five wins above and well, I won't really slip to be honest with you top 100 monthly so yeah lads this has been a long video sorry if I've actually bored you with my commentary but I'll try to make it as life lively as possible uh, if you did remember to leave a like on the video subscribe to me if you are new to this channel and until next time lads take care